Hi, my name is Ron Fieldhouse. I'm the Curriculum Specialist here at Pasco Scientific. And I'm Tom Lescala, the Education Manager here at Pasco. And today we're here to not make lemonade, but to make a lemon battery. And we're going to use a lemon battery to introduce electrochemistry using the wireless voltage sensor. So to do this, I'm going to turn my wireless voltage sensor on. And now that it's on, the red Bluetooth indicator is blinking, indicating that it's ready to pair. OK. Then I take over on the computer. I move up to my Bluetooth icon, just touch it. And right now, it's looking around the room for any Bluetooth devices. We do have the only one in there. So I notice it ends in 157. And this device ends in 157, so that is the correct one. I'm just going to tap on that. I can tell it's connected because I have a green battery indicator. And I have the logging feature that showed up. So I hit Done. Now it's on the home screen. I see that it is getting a voltage, so it's reading. I'm going to move to our digit screen, so I double click that. First thing I see is a graph, but if I move down to the bottom right hand corner, one touch, I'm at the voltage screen. And that's all I need for this lab. So why don't we make sure this is working by checking an actual battery? Okay. I'm going to start data collection with the green arrow. Lay it down on its side, makes it a little bit easier for me. I connected the negative, the black one, to the bottom of the battery. The red one to the top, and it's reading 1.52 volts. It is a brand new battery that's rated at 1.5 volts. That sounds pretty good to me. Uh, and the negative and positive are indicated on the battery, and they're also indicated on the voltage sensor box, so you can know which one is the positive and negative. So now we can try to make a lemon battery. So all you need is a lemon and some combinations of different metals. In this case, I have some copper, zinc, and iron. So I'm going to test my copper with my zinc first. And we'll attach those leads to this. So if I attach these leads here, what kind of reading do I get? OK, I see a negative 0.9 reading. Can we get a negative voltage run? No. <laughs> they will always run in a spontaneous direction, which means you get a positive voltage. So what that means is we need to flip these leads around. So I'm going to flip these around. And now my positive is connected to the copper and my negative is connected to the zinc. And I'm getting the same magnitude, just different in sign. So now let's test a different combination of metals. So I'm going to take this zinc out, and I'm going to put some iron in. I'm going to connect that up. Awesome. Now, the copper iron only gives me a 0.4 voltage. They are very close to each other on the activity scale. The zinc and copper are very far away, so it would get a much, much higher voltage. I would just say that this combination is a lemon. <laughs> OK. <laughs> so this is a great way to introduce electrochemistry to your students, because now we can see the differences. Uh, based on different combinations, we can get a different cell potential. We can talk about oxidation reduction. And we can even use more lemons and more metals to create a series of batteries. Or you can create a very specific vo um, voltage, challenge your students. So this is an introduction uh, about lemon batteries using the wireless voltage sensor. Thank you very much. Thank you.